Haha, ha, that's awkward. So I recorded this video on Tuesday, literally a couple of hours before 1.17.1 pre-release 2 dropped. In 1.17.1 pre-release 2, Diamond Generation was fixed. Long story short, there was a bug. Diamond Generation changed from 1.16.5 to 1.17. It's changing back once 1.17.1 drops, hopefully. But I already recorded today's video, and spoiler, we find diamonds. I can't scrap the episode now, big stuff happened. Just know that in 1.17.1, diamonds are back at Y11. Welcome back, elites. It's episode 132 now. Just when you thought you figured it out, the update that didn't change the caves actually changed the caves a little bit. Not too much, but a little bit. Just once you thought you figured it out. As soon as you thought you knew exactly how it was going to work, some of the cave generation changed in the update that didn't change caves at all. Ah yes, of course, the caves and cliffs update without any caves. You figure that out, then you make the video about finding Deep Slate at Y11, because of course, you would want to find Deep Slate down low in your world, below Y16. Uh, why wouldn't you find Deep Slate at the same spot that you would find diamonds? Wait, what? Of course, of course, of course. Okay, all right, I've known about this for a couple weeks now, but I had projects going, we had other things to do. Diamonds, they're not at Y11 anymore. But diamonds, in this world right now, I have a total of one diamond to my name. It's sad, it's really harsh. It's the first thing that I think about every day. It's the last thing that I think about every day. I always get reminded in the comments. Today, we're gonna fix it. If you enjoyed today's episode, or if you don't, leave a like. Ah, uh, so yes, finally, at long last, at long last, has taken us so long, the great diamond hunt. That's what we're going on today. By the end of the episode, the goal is quite simple. 20 diamonds, or at least four. Four, eh, five. That would do too. So I have this cave system right over here by the deep slate mines, which we're gonna have to talk a little bit about today too, but this cave system. I figure this would be a really solid spot to start. Maybe uh, we could get really lucky and find some diamonds inside of this cave. If not, we're gonna have to branch mine. Uh, branch mining is gonna be a little bit safer, but this might be a little bit quicker. So yeah, I actually don't think I found a single diamond inside of a cave system in 1.17 in this world. So earlier this week, I dropped a video talking about how diamond generation has changed. Yeah, if you didn't know, diamond generation has changed. Diamonds don't generate where they used to. I didn't know about that until I literally dropped the Deep Slate episode of this series. So the Deep Slate episode was this episode where I talked about finding Deep Slate at Y11. Now definitely, 100%, you could absolutely find Deep Slate at Y11. I did, that's what I've been doing, that's what I did for Grim. Oh yes, Grim, oh yes, Grim. I will tell you more about Grim soon. But yeah, Y11 works. However, Y11 doesn't really seem to work for diamonds anymore. In the Deep Slate episode, I ran a quick test uh, about finding Deep Slate just to see how long it would take. I was really, really hoping that I would end up running into diamonds too. I thought it would be like perfect in the episode. It would be cool. It would be a really nice setup. Actually, my initial plan was to hopefully find diamonds in that episode, hold them for a couple episodes. Then when I work on the starter castle, I would do an enchanting room like right off the bat. Not so fast. Okay, okay, okay. Take it easy. All right, one final berry break. I swear, I swear. I'm not using these anymore. If I'm using these in like three more episodes, I swear, call me out. So yeah, in the Deep Slate episode, I was really, really hoping that I would end up finding diamonds somewhere. I thought it would be perfect. I would be able to take the diamonds in the episode where we did the starter house. So last episode, I would take the diamonds that I found in the Deep Slate episode in the episode that we did the inside of the starter house and I'd make an enchanting setup. I wasn't lucky, it didn't play out like that and I wasn't able to add an enchanting setup into the starter house. We're gonna do it soon or we're gonna make a building for enchanting. But first we have to get rid of all, oh, that's not good. That's not good. I didn't, I, I didn't consider that. Yeah, that one will be my bad. That is totally 100% my bad. There we go. Before we can put an enchanting setup inside of the house, we have to find diamonds. This is a really interesting cave system. It like wraps around down by the lava. I personally love these cave systems. I feel like they're just really, really cool looking. But diamonds, these are also, or they used to be so good for finding diamonds. I feel like I'm all over the place right now. Um, I'm sorry. Let me restart. I wanted to find diamonds in the Deep Slate episode, but I couldn't. When I made the Deep Slate episode, I didn't realize the diamond generation had changed. I mean, after all, the Caves and Cliffs update without the Caves and Cliffs, it didn't change the Caves at all, right? Well, actually, it did a little, and I knew about that. I didn't know about the ore generation changes, though. Those things are huge. I dropped a video earlier this week testing it out, and yep, 100%. Diamonds are generating way lower than they used to before. Like Y5, Y6. That's going to be the best spot to find diamonds now. Now, uh, cave systems don't usually actually even go all the way down to Y5, Y6, which means 
uh, it might actually be a little bit harder to find diamonds inside of the caves. Unless you get really lucky, just like me. Oh yeah. Please. At some point. Please. I'm not too sure why I'm passing up a lot of these other ores, too. I don't really care about the normal ores. I mean, the deep slate ores, I, I would like to keep those blocks. I think they're really cool. We could add them into our builds. So I'm probably just going to keep skipping the deep slate ores, come back and soak touch them. But the normal ones, I could totally take these. I don't need these. So the interesting thing, at least to me, is that diamond generation changed in 1.17. There's a new layer to find them. And then in 1.18, in the next update, in the next couple months, it's completely changing again. 1.18 is going to completely change ore generation because, of course, the world gets way deeper. So get used to why five or six for diamonds but don't get too used to it because it's completely changing again in like less than six months oh man it feels like there are so many ores down here like there's tons of lapis coal of course redstone even gold i can't take the deep slate stuff but even gold there also must be some kind of gigantic cave system over here because the mobs are crazy like there are so many inside of this cave I would try and find that cave system, but it seems like it's like higher up. When I move back down low, uh, I actually hear it a little bit less. Maybe over here. Will this lead us to diamonds? No. Can we look through the lava and find diamonds? Mm, also no. I have a backup plan if we can't find diamonds anywhere down here, but I was really hoping that we could find our first diamonds inside of a cave. I know it's kind of weird and it doesn't really matter. And we've also already found like a ton of diamonds in this world. But you have to find the first diamonds in the cave. Okay, so that wing's over there. We'll come back. Now, over here, this is really close to the branch mine. Uh, there's a ton of fortunable ores. I think what I'm going to do is definitely leave the copper. I'll leave the gold, too. We can fortune that, because why not? And same with the iron. The coal, I mean, I can fortune it, too. So I'll just leave it for now. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's right. That's right. There's deep slate over here. Deep slate is a block that we haven't gotten yet. Oh, my gosh. Look at this stuff. This is going to be great. At some point, we're going to set up a gigantic deep slate factory. Definitely also a lava factory. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, so does this all circle around now? Like, did I actually finish all of this? Because that goes back to, to the mines. Oh, yes, yes. No, I didn't. I didn't. Okay, cool. It goes down here, and I don't think I've really been down here yet. Have I? Oh. Oh. Okay, maybe I have. I wonder if it's even possible. Like, how likely is it to even find diamonds in the cave systems now? It just feels like they're, like, nowhere. Okay, so back over here, we have a really weird water thing. That's fine. We'll leave it alone. And then definitely more of the caves. Oh, no. I guess I haven't gone this way. The torches throw me off, like, every time. Um, I feel like I'm walking in on something that I shouldn't be. All right, we're going to let you do your thing. I'm just going to move past you and see if there's anything. Yeah, okay. As to be expected. There's redstone, though. That's pretty sweet. We'll take this. I'll take the coal, too. Maybe if we're really lucky, this coal will lead us straight to diamonds. I hope it's not deep slate diamonds, though. Deep Slate Coal is one of my favorite Deep Slate versions. I think this would look really good on builds. All right, well, I think we're running out of luck. There's a little bit of cave left, like, over here. But if the cave goes up, like this one, not even a point. Like, I mean, there's copper and stuff. That's great. But not even a point. There's no point in going up there. So we're not going to. And I'm not even going to take these ores right here. I'll come back and fortune them later. Same with those. Uh, same with those, same with all of these. Because this is all really, really close to the deep slate mine. So here's that circle room again. If we go back over this way and go down, here it is. Uh, now that everything's lit up, I don't think I really have to block that off anymore. Oh yeah, I guess I should show this trick off too. So check this out. Uh, if I look at the lava right here, by the way, this is insanely cheaty. If I look at the lava, I can't see through it, obviously. But look at that. I can see through it with that right there. It says that I'm looking at stone, which means if I were to take this lava away, guarantee it. 100% there would be stone right there. You see the tuff right there? Watch this. We can't really see through the lava. I just need to look towards the tuff, and it tells me that it's tough. It's a really nice trick. Insanely cheaty, but it's really nice. You could use it to look through blocks, like literally. Like literal lava sources to see if there's anything behind it. Like diamonds. Minecraft 1.17 changed diamond generation. Diamonds actually got a whole lot more common, even if it didn't seem like it. But you have to be the right spot. The right spot is lower than ever before. So we have this branch mine that I started setting up. It is tragic. It's so sad. But this branch mine is basically useless to me. Unless I'm looking for deep slate. We need to go deeper. So we're going to have to expand this thing. Here's what I'm thinking. What we're going to do is uh, keep this alone. And maybe I could have like a higher up section of the mine. I don't know why I would really need this. I could find deep slate down low too. But we'll go with it. We have a higher up version of the mine. And then we'll have the staircase go down even more. We have to go all the way down to Y5. It's only like five more layers. And then we mine down there. Now, it's kind of crazy. Like, Y5 is really deep. At Y5, we'll actually be able to start seeing Bedrock, too. I don't think any Bedrock will generate in our way. But we're definitely going to see Bedrock, like, on the floor. We'll still also find Tough generating. We'll still find Deep Slate generating. And Diamonds. Diamonds actually generate more abundantly than they ever did in 1.16 down low at Y5 and 6. 
Ha, so here we are. Y5, a couple more layers, not too bad. Now we're gonna set up our main hallway. The new official branch mine hallway is going to be at Y5. And I think this time, what we're gonna do is just cut it out this way. Three by three hallway coming straight out of the staircase. And then I'll do my big tunnels going off at the left and off at the right of this hall. There it is, bedrock right there, down at Y5. We're so deep in the world, this is like crazy. I think like the whole time I've been playing this game, literally the whole time, it's always been Y11. This feels so weird. It feels really wrong. There's even more bedrock. Like, this stuff is all over the place. I don't belong down here at all. Also, I can't believe I did this, and I'm really sorry. I want to apologize, but there is no stone cutter down here, which is really bad. Brand new stone cutter right there. Look at it. It fits right in. Earlier this week, it was on Tuesday, I dropped a video talking about diamond generation and how it changed. In that one, I ran a couple of experiments, and it was so easy, like insanely easy to find diamonds if I make branch mine tunnels at Y5. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to branch mine until we find diamonds, and hopefully it's not going to take too long. Now, if deep slate ores are in the way, tragically, I will have to take them. If they're not in the way, though, like that right there, though, they stay. If the first diamond that I find is deep slate diamond... I don't know what I'm going to do. Honestly, I can't decide. Like, like it's a really tough decision. So 1.17 for some reason changed diamond generation. Is it because of the deep slate generation? I don't know. Is it because of the tough generation? M maybe, actually. I mean, there's no tough diamonds. Tough. There's more tough. I don't have enough of this stuff. This stuff is so cool. But at the same time, like, is this actually a good building block? Like, I don't know. I can't decide. I mean, I always think of like a road. Is tough good? I will put a poll card on screen. Oh, wait. Can we please get an F in the comments for the YouTube poll? Taken away years ago, not even noticed until now. Oh no, it's lava, it's lava, it's lava. That's not good. This is what I figured was gonna happen. If we mine down low at this layer, we're gonna find so much more lava and we're gonna hit the lava and then it's gonna turn to obsidian and then I'm not gonna be able to mine through it. Okay, so I guess when that happens... I guess we have to turn around. So diamonds being moved down isn't really a problem, obviously. You just change and mine a little bit lower. But the lava. The lava is definitely going to be more frequent, I think. I mean, unless they change lava secretly, too. Uh, you're going to have to watch out for lava. It's going to be way more frequent. When you mine lower down in the world, you're going to be, like, right at the level where the lava pits generate. Like that one over there. Which, now that I think about it, actually. I still really wanted to find diamonds inside of a cave. Could I actually? Oh, okay. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. I would say that maybe that would lead back to like a cave system or something, but it looks like literally one of those lava pits that just generates deep down in the world. That's where you're going to have to watch out for if you're branch mining for diamonds at Y5 and 6. They're going to be like right in your face, literally. So sooner or later, at some point, we're going to get diamonds. It's just a matter of how long it will take. I'm actually already starting to find a pretty decent amount of some of the other resources, like iron and redstone. Those are the two main ones. So not bad and not good, but also not bad. There's some more iron, even more tough. I feel like I'm finding so much tough down here. That's kind of interesting. Deep slate, even more deep slate. So yes, if you're looking for deep slate and for diamonds, instead of Y11, probably instead do it down at Y5. Here's the problem. If I put water down, it goes away really quick, but then I can't get through here. If I try and fill this in block by block, it's going to take a long time, probably. However, we can do it. We'll move right through the lava and keep going down this hallway. I feel good about it. I guess a pretty decent idea if you don't have diamonds yet uh, to deal with the lava would probably be like lava buckets. If you went down here with uh, extra iron, of course, after you have at least a little bit of iron, you could scoop up the lava and then move it back to maybe like the middle hallway or just somewhere else, like drop it off somewhere. Uh, but other than that, you're going to have to like move through it or just turn your hallway and go around it or maybe like go above it. I guess that would work too. I need to start stocking up on gravel. I think with the build palette that I want to use over here, uh, gravel is going to be really, really useful. And if not, I mean, gravel is still already really, really useful for things like coarse dirt. So I should probably get some of this. It's also really easy to clear out. And maybe when we clear it out, we'll not only find redstones, but also some diamonds too. I'm really trying here. I'm like really trying. I just want that to be real. I guess the other problem about clearing these gravel pits out down low though, uh, would be lava because there's so much more lava down here. Like literally everything down here at this layer involves lava. Yeah, there's no way I'm going through that. Yeah, uh, no way. No way at all. I, 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 I got too close to the fire. Too close to the fire. Okay, fine. We'll put cobblestone for now. Too close to the fire. We'll do this. That should make it pour straight down, I think. I hope. <gasps> fire. There it is. Finally, the burn. It's not for nothing. A tribute. A small tribute. It's not much, really. But a tribute to the lava. Oh, there it is. There it is. Diamonds. Diamonds. And there's two. Oh, no. Oh, what do we do about that? Oh, no. And they're split down the middle, too. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know what to do about this. I guess we could take these two. 
and we'll leave those two for later. It's only like four diamonds total. It's kind of rough, but it's diamonds. Finally. Truly and genuinely, Lava, I owe you it all. I owe you everything. Thank you so much for helping, Lava. Thank you. I mean, it never would have happened if that lava wall didn't happen. We owe it all to the lava. Lava is king. I mean, it never would have happened if that lava wall didn't happen. So, good thing I got burnt. Good thing I found lava. Maybe this is the best change in the world. Two diamonds is great. It's really wonderful, honestly. Back over at Grim, there's one more diamond. That means we have three diamonds right now, which is really, really nice. Ideally, we need five. Five diamonds total. Two for an enchanting table. Three for a pickaxe. That pickaxe, fortune three. Or silk touch. Silk touch would be really, really useful, too. But mainly fortune three. We need more copper. What I'm saying, what all of that means, is that we can't stop now. I have two diamonds, which is great, but we need more. I have to keep digging. Hopefully, we can find at least one more chunk of diamonds. Also, hopefully, the fire gods aren't mad about the sweet berries. Yeah, I'm not taking any chances. We're gonna put all of this good stuff, even the redstone, inside of this barrel for now. Uh, just in case. I think these are the first blocks. Of, yeah, definitely the first blocks of raw iron in the world. We need to definitely add those to the mining zone. I could replace some of those, um other things oh you know what i just realized i don't think i'm finding like any lapis at all maybe we're too low to find lapis now oh that's really interesting i didn't even think about that when it comes to branch mine hallway spacing i think it's literally the same two blocks apart three blocks apart if you do that the same exact thing but move it down to y5 if you usually have your branch mine hallways two blocks apart and you like doing it that way then just do it that way if you like to do three blocks apart do it that way too you could also do the crawling tunnel method but i think they're bad if you dig a hallway that's two blocks tall you see like all of these blocks if you dig a small tunnel you only see like these blocks around the tunnel so too high all the way too high hallways all the way it's simply the best and also you can actually move in these hallways like at a good speed crawling is really really painful i don't recommend it oh no you know what i just realized uh so more lava but i'm completely out of food now i didn't even think about that sickening truly but it will have to do look the copper block is green now it's so ugly but don't get me wrong i actually do like the aging copper i just don't really like the aging copper on the crane i feel like uh the aging copper on the crane makes it look like really really weird and bad i know i can shave it off with the axe which is really good but how i see it is it's kind of pointless until i have honeycombs because then i'll just keep coming up there and having to shave it off so i'm just gonna wait until i have honeycombs and then i'll shave it all the way off i feel like the oxidizing copper looks like really good on some builds like on a roof but like on a crane like no 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 no, that shouldn't age like it should always be good so it sounds like i'm under some kind of gigantic lava ocean right now which is great not stressful at all yeah you know what i also haven't found yet i mean gold generation is not very common always but i haven't found any gold either and very little coal i mean i think i found some coal down here maybe i, I definitely found iron and redstone but no lapis so far and no gold either one diamond chunk please eight of them eight pieces of diamond or normal not deep slate to be very clear please yeah so from my experience at least with this area in the world near this whole lava ocean that we have going on here uh this is way more painful than before i mean branch mining was never very exciting uh it's just the same thing over and over again but now there's like lava all over the place too and you can't even like just pour water down to get rid of the lava you either have to build through it or just turn and make a new hallway because if you pour water down before you have diamond pickaxe you have the obsidian and it's impossible oh there is gold it's in the way so i have to take it there is gold down here okay Finally, I've done it. On day 1,479, the second chunk of diamonds in this world. This is a good feeling. I can't believe it. We've finally done it, and this is going to be really bad. There's lava all over the ceiling here, and it's just literally... No, 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 no. It's literally just one diamond. It's literally just one diamond. I mean, at least no lava. Oh, no. Oh, no. So real quick, before we go back up to the surface, I want to show you what I've done. So the hallway goes all the way down to here. Now, it's getting pretty long. Uh, on this side, I kept running into like a lava ocean, like really, really close here, as you can kind of see. So yeah, not very much luck there. I'm leaving the copper. I'm going to come back and fortune it. This side, though, in some of the hallways, I was able to go really, really far. What I kept doing is just dig the hallway until I hit lava. And then as soon as I hit lava, turn and do the next hallway, go all the way back and kind of like repeat that over and over and over again. Made a small change over here, kind of temporary, so I can get up a little bit easier. That's nice. Didn't do it here, though. I had to smelt up a little bit of the iron that I got, but uh, check this out. Almost full. All of that cobblestone. And then over here, deep slate. Over nine stacks. Almost ten stacks of deep slate. Oh, that's perfect for building. Here are some of the other stones that I have. Almost a stack of tough. Now, tons of gravel, which is really nice. And, of course, the good stuff. And some of the other stuff like redstone. So I ended up finding more lapis down low. I guess my theory was wrong. It definitely seems less common down at Y5 than at Y11. But I did find some. 
tons of redstone, 64 blocks and 18 more, which is kind of crazy, three diamonds, a little bit of copper, and some iron. Oh yeah, it's also nighttime, and I haven't slept in like a really long time. I kind of was wondering if I could find some phantoms on the surface. It might be a really bad idea, but I was kind of wondering. I mean, I know the area isn't like lit up like really well, but there are some bright spots in here, so we could like stand around, or, or maybe even out in the water, and, and just see if we can find any phantoms. <laughs> yeah, maybe this is a bad idea. I have a bad feeling about this. And it's morning, so I guess that idea wouldn't have worked out anyways. So it's not exactly Diamond City, but we're off to a pretty good start. Now we at least have enough diamonds to make an enchanting table. I don't usually enchant iron, but we could enchant iron, get fortunate, and then go back down. I'm not too sure why. In all of my testing, it was actually way easier to find diamonds down low, but uh, I, it was not easy. <laughs> not at all. Oh no. Oh no. This isn't good. This isn't good. I lost the comment of the day book. <laughs> I, I lost it. I don't know where I put it. Aha. There it is. There it is. Definitely shouldn't put it in there. You should call the castle, Castle Grimstone. Yeah, so usually right now, I would go outside and get some kind of cool view of the castle, but I don't know if you can see, uh, it just walked away, but there are kind of mobs all over the place. Castle Grimstone, though. So close. I think I came up with the name last episode at some point, but Grim. This place, our home, is now known as Grim because, of course, it's entirely built out of Grimstone, so it's the only name I could go with. Grim. Maybe two M's. Oh yeah, and you know what? We do have two name tags. I saw a couple comments about this too. Modus. Oh, Modus. Modus, Modus. We need to change the color color, but Modus. Modus, you were simply the best. I'm sorry we couldn't bring you today. There was too much fire. You wouldn't have liked it anyways. Chibi Fan 1984, Devins and Reedman. Thank you all so much for the support. Thanks for watching, everybody. Like, subscribe, comment. Diamonds Y5 until 1.17.1.